up. Welcome to another video. I hope you're having a lovely day. As you can tell, I am. Um, I have come to a field <laughs> and set up a little picnic for myself. I'm having a very relaxing day, but I wanted to do another paint with me video because you guys really liked the last one and obviously I enjoyed doing it. So yeah, I brought my painting supplies with me today and I was trying to think about what I should paint, but then I was like, what are you doing Coco? You're sitting in a beautiful field with the most aesthetic little Pinterest picnic. Why don't I just paint this? So that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said in my last video, I'm not a painter. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just guessing and seeing what looks good. So don't expect anything great from me. I'm gonna get started. Okay, time to talk. Um, definitely one of the reasons why I enjoy filming these videos so much. This video is kind of perfect for me right now because I'm alone and I'm gonna be alone for quite a while now. That is something that I'm going to explain in my next video. It's not really the vibe for this video. Big life update, let's just say. So keep an eye out for my next video. But for now, we're just going to let this flow of thought go and see where it takes us. Okay, actually focusing on my artwork right now. As usual, I started off by doing a little border of washi tape and sketching out what I wanted to paint a little bit. Um, nothing too detailed, literally just the rough places of where I wanted to put everything because I just wanted to get straight into the painting because that's the fun part. And once again, it kind of just made sense to me to lay down the main colors of each section. I definitely went way too dark with the book, which you'll see later I tried to correct, but it's okay. I still like the final result. It looks good. Maybe I should take something with me next time to actually test the colors on before I put them down on paper. I feel like that's something a real artist would do. So you know what? Maybe I should try and fake it until I make it. This painting was definitely harder than my other one because it was close up. So obviously there's way more detail to be seen. So I definitely put a lot more effort into it and I think it paid off. I'm excited for you to see the result at the end. So, how are you doing? I feel like I haven't made a video in ages. Well, that's because I haven't. This video right here, I actually filmed at the end of July and now it's almost the end of August. I have taken a couple weeks off. I've just been working so much, but I have some time off now. So hopefully I can get some videos done for you guys. So right about now in the footage, my camera ran out of battery and obviously I was in the middle of a field so I couldn't charge it until I got home. So I carried on my painting at home a couple days later, although the field was lovely. I mean, as you can see from the scenes, the sun was shining and it was just a really, really peaceful day for me. There were loads of bugs. <laughs> And I hate bugs so much guys. So it was nice to be back in my bedroom. But anyway, what to chat about? There's not much great stuff that's happening right now. We all know this year is just canceled. Hasn't really been the best for any of us, but I don't just wanna write it off. So you know what? I'm gonna try and highlight some things that have been good this year. Try and be positive for once. Right, let's think. 2020, what good has come out of this year? Um, okay, I think the biggest and best thing that's happened for me this year is definitely growing so much on YouTube. My goal for this year was to reach 30,000 subscribers and I'm like 400 away from that. So yeah, it's not all bad guys. <laughs> what else? I spent a lot more time with my family, which is nice. I've also had time to properly get into my hobbies, like painting, but also playing music. Although I haven't been able to do as much photography as I wanted to do, just because I haven't been going anywhere nice that I want to actually take pictures of. And you know, I've been stuck inside most of the time. I swear, like I actually haven't done anything this year. <laughs> Okay, let me just think of one more good thing that's happened this year. You know what? I have had so much fun at work for the time that I have actually been at work, that is. Um, I've really enjoyed it and I love all of my friends there. I feel like we've gotten way closer this year. Those are good things, yay. Tell me some good things that have happened to you this year. Oh, it's raining now. So 
So here I'm trying to correct the mistake that I made earlier of misshaping the bottle. Um, I just wanted to make it bigger and also start adding all of the detail to it and the shadows. It was much easier than I thought to correct it. So that's great. The good thing about gouache paints is that you can just keep layering the paint as much as you want really. Well, that's how I use it anyway. I'm probably doing it wrong, but <laughs> it works for me. I'm pretty sure you could probably try and blend it away with water as well because it is water based. God, I am just talking out of my ass. I really don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I just remember with watercolours and stuff, if I hated something, I could just blend it away with loads of water. The only thing is, I am not using proper watercolour paper here. So if I add too much water to this type of paper, it like waves itself um, and creates little bubbles and whatnot. So not the best thing to do on this. But anyway, now I feel like we're getting onto the part of the painting where it actually starts to look good. <laughs> um, Cause I'm adding all of the details and the details make such a difference. That is just common sense, I know, but <laughs> before this moment i swear i just i didn't have much faith in myself it wasn't looking too good i found this so relaxing i don't know if it was because of the calming picture that i was doing or if it was the lovely sound of the rain outside but i just really enjoyed doing this one yeah it was really relaxing <laughs> trying to think of things to talk about right now but i just i haven't been doing much recently i've been watching way too much netflix again i swear i go in and out of these loops of watching it literally all the time and then the next week i'll be like i need to be productive so i'm never gonna watch it again <laughs> and i'm gonna do this 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 and this which is probably very unhealthy <laughs> to yo-yo between productivity and slobbing around. I swear I love it, I really do love Netflix, but it ruins my life sometimes. <laughs> I just have so many things that I want to do, but I never get it done because there's just something easier to do, <laughs> which is watching TV. There's probably loads of you like that as well. You just want to do so many things in your life, but you just procrastinate it, even though it's something that you want to do. Because it's really important to me, I procrastinate it. I think the main reason why I feel like I'm not doing anything or that I haven't done anything with my life so far <laughs> is because I see all of these people on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, they're all like 17 years old or younger and they've done so much with their lives already. And it makes you feel worse about your own life, doesn't it? Just comparing where you are in your life to where these people are. It's not healthy, but it's kind of unavoidable because we all use social media and that's kind of just what happens. But this is definitely not something that our parents had to deal with. They didn't have social media. So not to be that person, but we definitely have it harder. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and get over that and try and focus on my own life. Everyone has their own journeys and paths. Life isn't a race is what they say, right? There is no destination and I need to stop thinking that people are winning and I'm losing because <laughs> <laughs> That's just not true. Anyway, I think I'm done with my painting now, so let's get to the reveal. I'm finally finished with my painting and I really like it. I think I'm slowly improving and I hope you enjoyed watching me paint. I am so hot because I just turned off my fan so that I could make this outro and it's like 35 degrees. Uh, so I'm just gonna say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then great because I'm probably gonna make more of these. Maybe let me know what you want me to paint next. That would be fun. Comment something that you want me to paint and I will do that. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.